Ty Soto interviewed by basketball expert and analyst, including his agent Joel Bell and trainer Jeremiah Boswell. Good luck, Ty Soto, on your journey in NBA. Joel, there's a temptation, of course, to compare Kai with different NBA players. But um, I sort of want to ask you this question about Wang Jiji and Joe Chi. Now, they are seven-footers. They made it to the NBA. They didn't enjoy long NBA careers. What makes Kai different from both those players that gives you the confidence that he will embark on a long and enjoyable NBA career? Well, first off, he's a lot better looking. Okay, that's the first thing, okay? Uh, but second, secondly, uh, I think his basketball IQ, what the average person doesn't realize about it is he's an, he's an unbelievable passer. And when you say someone's an unbelievable passer, it's not only the passes you make, it's the passes you don't make. And that doesn't necessarily mean a pass that leads to a turnover. It means passing to the wrong guy in the wrong place. You can run your offense through Kai. That is not something you can say a lot about, about a lot of front court players in professional basketball. He's got an unbelievable basketball IQ. Forget the skills, and he's actually a very good athlete, okay? You can run your offense him, and he will make the right decisions that will not only help your team score, but not help the other team. Kai, the NBA playoffs this season are showing a high level of physicality. How ready are you to cope with this physicality in the NBA? I mean, there's a lot of uh, work that has to be done uh, for my, my physique, my body. I have to get stronger, as uh, it's pretty obvious when you look at me, I have to, I have to get stronger, uh, faster. Uh, but on the mental side, I think growing up in the streets of uh, Las Pinas in the Philippines, growing up uh. playing in the Philippines, physicality is normal. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, for, for a kid playing against, uh, you know, construction workers, tricycle oh drivers, God. I think that helped me uh, be prepared mentally, uh, you know, me play, I mean, growing up, uh, my career basketball, I always, my career basketball, I always, I was always one of the youngest guys and I, I was always playing with older players. So I think that really helped me on the mental side that, uh, you know, that I'm, pretty prepared and uh, I know what to expect. But uh, yeah, on the physical side, I have a lot to, to continue to work on. Speaking of physicality, because we're at it, um, you mentioned that you looked up to Kristaps Porzingis, but now that you've grown um, after playing in the NBL, do you picture yourself more, still more like a Porzingis or Nowitzki or more of an Embiid or Yanis? Uh, Yanis and uh, Nikola Jokic. Uh, I think mm. those two guys, if I try to learn from them and uh, get a combination of both, I think that will really help me as a player. And uh, just the aggressiveness of uh, Giannis and also the basketball IQ of Jokic, how he plays mm. the basketball, uh, how he plays basketball the right way. Uh, I think that that's, that's, the, that's the biggest, uh, biggest uh, advantage. How will you encourage young Filipino basketball players dreaming to be in your shoes, dreaming that someday they will follow in your footsteps? Uh, I mean, uh, I would say it all starts from, uh, from a dream, from a goal, setting, uh, setting a goal. Uh, uh, I mean, in the Philippines, there's a saying, Libre lang ma, it's free to dream. So, so when, uh, when I heard about that, I, I dreamt big. Uh, my dad played in the PBA. I said, um, I, I, want, I want to play in the NBA. And uh, I think my advice to them is, uh, what I have to say to them is, uh, I started at the same uh, same spot. I was uh, you know, playing in the streets when I was young and I uh, started pretty young. And I uh, just have to say, just uh, keep on uh, working hard and just enjoy the process. And uh, one thing that's very important that I always tell myself is to not uh, be afraid to fail. Uh, I think uh, sometimes in my career, I, 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 uh, I'm a little uh, worried, I'm a little afraid to fail and uh, that leads me to not trying. So I think the biggest advice is to keep on trying. It's okay to fail, it's part of the journey. 
but uh, just just the fact that uh, you tried and you did your best that will uh, that will help you uh, get better as a person inside. Patty, beyond the NBA, there's the goal of playing for Gilas in the 2023 FIBA World Cup, and the whole Philippines is excited with that event coming up. How will that factor in the equation of Kai's future plans in basketball? Well, Kai is obviously always um, going to make the Philippines a priority. I mean, that's his home country. Um, and from our perspective and his perspective, I mean, he will play in the World Cup. So um, usually there's a lot of NBA players playing in the World Cup and it's a time period that actually is accepted. Um, not necessarily the the, the games leading up to, but the World Cup is, is usually one, and especially with it being in the Philippines. Um, mm -hmm. I can assure you that Joel will be working with the team um, that he's playing with to definitely make sure that that occurs. So we always have constant conversation, always have constant conversation with the SVP, mm -hmm. Coach Chot, um, to make sure that Kai can support the national team any and all times that he can. Kai, how important is it for you as an athlete to have corporate backing and the full support of a company like Smart, for instance? Uh, it's very important. Uh, I believe uh, if, uh, in this in this path I chose, uh, I always say I couldn't do this all by uh, I think the circle around me uh, has been, has been uh, huge and has been amazing. amazing. And, uh, you know, when people uh, watch me play, they always, they just, see me but they don't really see the the people that help me uh Support backstage the they don't really see okay the people on the backstage that's been uh -huh. helping me uh so i'm very very blessed and very uh they're very happy very thankful to have uh, these people around me and uh, they've been helping me since day one and uh they're the reason why i'm here where i am today message uh for i guess for your fans Oh, I just wanna just wanna thank everybody first and foremost. Uh, I'm very thankful and uh, very blessed to have everybody's uh, support and help. And uh, I couldn't do this without uh, every single one of you. And, uh, and uh, just uh, keep on uh, praying and uh, keep on supporting because uh, I do my best uh, to to work hard every single day. To, to improve and to get to my dream and uh, doing this all not for myself but for, for all of us. I think it's amazing, Kinito. I mean, we uh, today we got a better picture, a clearer picture of um, how this journey is turning out for Kai. It's not just a solo effort. We see Patty, we see Joel, we see Jeremiah. He's got a strong team behind him, all believing in him. And it's amazing um, how, how much support he has uh, from his inner circle. But rest assured, Kai, you got all of us with you. We're part of that team. Uh, and in Tagalog, kasama mo, kaming lahat, sambayan ng Pilipino sa iyong mga pangarap. Kaya naman, uh, keep on going. Keep on going for that dream. And, and keep on inspiring all of us. Uh, just like we love to say it, Puso Pilipinas. <laughs>